Welcome to the Take a Listing Today podcast, where our hosts, Jim Studebaker and Todd Robertson, give you strategies to get you out of the office right now so you can take a new listing today. And now, here's Jim and Todd. Yes, that is us. Welcome to the Take a Listing Today podcast. Don't forget our website, takealistingtoday.com. It's got wonderful items for you. I'm Jim, and there's Todd. And over here, our producer, Lisa Gray in the house. There she is. And today is a momentous occasion. We are one show mm. away from show number 100. We're going to have to do something special that? on that show. Something very special. Yes. Well, you're in luck because we're doing something special today as well. Our topic today, three things that you can do to make every day a great one. So if you wake up and you say, today is not great, do these three things and every day will be great. Is that the theory here? This is the theory, and these are strong here. So, so grab your journal, grab your pen and paper, take some notes. We all go through right, right speed bumps, and one or more of these ideas might help you turn a bad day into a good day. Exactly. So let's tune in and, and have some fun. There's only three things. Very nice. So, Lisa, are we calling uh, this oh. person now or yeah, later? We're gonna, call. we're gonna call. This is printed really small, <laughs> so we, we'll see how this goes. Oh, here you we're might need these call. these glasses. We're going to have this. <laughs> Are yours better than mine? We're going to no, call but... Michael Ware. I love this guy. <laughs> We're calling him. I'm calling him right now. All right. He won our... Is this your husband? Wait a minute. That's, <laughs> that should not be legal. No family members. I. Uh, he won last week's weekly contest. He won a gift card. Okay. And... Which has been reduced to uh, $3 since he didn't... Um... Let's see. Oh, we called him before, right? Yeah, yes, that's right. Yes, All right. That's how we, we knew our. We tried to call him another show. Right. He called us back, but it was after the show was over. So right. we're getting well, him on this one. This guy's awesome. He didn't listen to show number eighty-two, where we say call people back in five minutes or less. Correct. Right. If he had yeah, listened to that one, Michael, where? Here he is. It's hey, Michael. Michael. It's Jim hey, and, hey. and Todd and Lisa with the Take a Listing Today podcast. How are you, sir? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. How you guys doing? Excellent, excellent. I got your text, and uh, so you must have got the message, and it's a pleasure to have you on the show live today. Yes, we have been Thank wanting you. to talk to you, Michael. Oh, wow. I've been wanting to talk to you, too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The fellas mutual. Feel is mutual. <laughs> it's a big love fest here so far, <laughs> yes. so let's... Uh, <laughs> we'll have a group hug afterwards, although Michael is virtual somewhere with All us, right, not so here. Let's continue on. Yeah. Uh, Michael, so you're in uh, Illinois, correct? That is correct. Absolutely. I'm in Illinois, uh, Calumet City, Illinois, to be exact. Yep. I'm All right. right and you are doing a Get More Listings scheduled campaign. Tell us how that's working for you. Well, it's, it's working good. Um, I've actually uh, I've got a few phone calls from it, actually. Now, what I'm doing is I have a I have a just sold that I'm doing out in uh, Madison, Illinois. And then I'm doing, uh, I'm farming my area in Calumet City to get more listings. So I'm actually nice. doing both of them. Wow. I have a situation. I have a situation in which there was an expired listing that I called. Uh, I spoke with her once. She seemed like a warm lead. And you guys had some postcards out there specifically for expired listings. So I'm going to target nice. her for like six to seven days and then call her back. I love that. Beautiful. Oh, man. We might have to have them back on the show to find out what happens. Right, right. I love it. Yeah, especially when somebody calls and says, we have a situation. <laughs> then, <laughs> then you make the best of that. Love That's got to be great. And so you actually won the contest from our show sponsor, ProspectsPlus.com, uh, last week. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right. Yes, I was very excited to win. Uh oh, he's a, he excited. likes winning. Sounds he does. like he likes winning. I do. So, Lisa, should I we? I mean, I listen to you guys every day. Do you every really? Day. I love that. Are there yes, no other stations in Calumet City <laughs> that you can listen to? Are we like the only thing around? Is, is your cable not working out in that in that town or something? <laughs> <laughs> but it, it is. It's just a podcast. It's just it's therapeutic. And nice. I believe I get a lot of I, I get a lot of good meat from the conversation. I love it. Wow. That's well, wonderful. you might be interested in our new pay per view podcast that'll be coming out soon, Michael. Where you can pay to watch this podcast. How about that? <laughs> I can pay. 
<laughs> that sounds like a great deal there. I think it's going to be. We might have our first subscriber. Um, right. Just a couple family members tuning in for that. <laughs> Correct. Right. Um, <laughs> wow. Michael has been so great. Um, share with him what he won last week and let's see if he can double it. Yes, let's share that, uh, Lisa. So he won $120 last week. I say we definitely double it. What? Today, he wins another 120 if he gets that answer right. Wow. Are you up for the challenge, okay. Michael? He can send a lot of I, inspired postcards. Yeah. With that. I hear the drum roll. <laughs> All <laughs> right. It's not easy. Put your thinking cap on. Jim Studebaker has the question, and here we if, go. And if, if you are a fan of this show, Michael, you know these questions are weird. <laughs> So, yes, they are. Weird and hard. They don't relate to anything about real estate at all. Or any part of life. Right. Nope. Anything any of us would want to know, need to know, or care to know. Exactly. <laughs> and certainly nothing to do with real estate. But I will give you a question and three answers, and you tell me which one is correct. Are you ready? I am ready. I am ready. Here is your question What type of dog is Handsome Dan, the oh mascot of Yale University? Is it A, a bulldog, B, a Great Dane, or C, an Irish setter? Okay, let me hear that question just one more time. I want to really focus in on it. All <laughs> right, focus here. What type of dog is Handsome Dan, the mascot of Yale University? A bulldog, a Great Dane, or an Irish setter? Hmm. Let me go with an Irish setter, C. Oh. C, Irish Setter. All right, final answer. Yes, yes. Is, all right, is C the correct answer? Oh, oh, oh Michael, you would have oh, loved that. It would have been a ton of money. Oh, oh that's man. too bad. We're now taking away your 120 from last week, and <laughs> aye, aye, aye. the correct answer oh. is Bulldog. Oh, you know what? He's been so much fun, wow. brought so much energy. Let's give him one more chance. I like his yes. style. Yes. Are you game for that, okay. Mike? I'm ready. I'm ready. This is the one. This we got, is the one. All right. We got you. Okay. Okay. Now, we would never know if you try to use your phone to look up the answer. He so. wouldn't do that. He has too no, much integrity. No, no, I can no, tell no. that already. No way. No way. He would way. never do no that. Way. Okay. He's all right. Here's your follow up question, Michael. Okay. What year was Queen Elizabeth II born? Oh, my A, God. This doesn't seem fair, Michael. A, 1916. <laughs> B, 1926. C, 1936. Grab the phone, grab the phone, grab the phone. <laughs> How are we supposed to know this one? Well, isn't well, this common knowledge? You, you Actually, if you think about her age, her husband just died. He was in his 90s, right? Oh, so we could play it that 1916. way. 1916. 1916. All right. A, yeah. 1916. She is up there. Yeah. 1916. Is, is that the correct answer? Oh, I hope he gets it. Oh, come on. Oh, God. God. This is, this is rigged. Queen Elizabeth is going to be insulted now because... <laughs> we thought she was much older than she is. Oh, 19... You know what? Oh, you know what? Oh, what? my God. What? It was 1936. No way. It was... No. Yeah. 36. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Would you like to try again? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if he gets it right this time. No. 1926. 26. Okay. Right. Wow. Wow. Well, Michael, we wish you luck in life no, and um, no. good luck with everything. One we hope things work chance. out. And you know what? One because there's three chance. of us in here and one Lisa says chance. give you one more. It's three strikes, you're out. That's how it works. That's right. There's only two. Okay. All right. Okay. Michael, for a total of what? 200 and how much? If he, if well, he, gets... he has 120 already. He's going to get another 120. So 240. Yeah, he'll have. Yeah, he'll walk away today 240 up. Lisa, seriously, we should take that 120 away if we don't get this one right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please don't. No, please don't. Well, he's, he says. Got a, he's got a situation that he needs to send experts <laughs> he, on. He's going to have a situation here. <laughs> we don't get this right. Okay. Yeah. We're all losing it here, All Michael. right. Let's. All okay. right. I'm rooting for you. Michael, We got. I got a good feeling about this one here. Okay. 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 Here we go. If somebody accused you of being Olid, that's spelled O-L-I-D, Olid, what do they mean? Is it A, you smell bad? <laughs> What? You know, I consider myself a wordsmith. You know, the two of you I, are kind of all it today. You, well, I think you actually made this word up. Uh, I make nothing Olive. up. Olive. A, you smell bad. B, you look bad. Now Lisa's going on her phone to look it up here. Or C, you have an olive stuck in your teeth. 
I, that's well, what, let's that's, do process of elimination, uh, elimination here. All right. All right. So yeah, so I bet you he I bet you he smells really good. So he's probably not Alid. Okay. What you think? Tr- How would you know if he smells good or not? Well, because well, he's he, a sharp realtor. Did you see his picture on his postcard? He's I mean, dressed beautifully. There's no way he's Alid. Wow. Alid. Okay. Olive hint. B. Hint. Alid would be what? What are you I'm thinking? B. B. Choice B. B. Choice B. Come on, let's wait. Choice, Choice B. B. You look bad. Choice B. Come he on. Meant A. Hey, hey, let me think. Let me think. Okay, let me hear the choices one more time. What? One more time. What are we doing here? I want to make sure. Olive. Is it you smell bad, you look bad, or you have an olive stuck in your teeth? It's olive. Now, olive. O L L I D. O L I D. Yes. O L O L I D. The two L's or one. I want to get. I want to make sure I get it. One L. What does that have to do with anything? Well, he's O-L-I-D. just trying to see it. He's picturing it in a sense. Yeah, just pick the first yeah. one. Like, yeah. like Jim may be Olid, but Michael is not. This That's is taking the... so long. This, this <laughs> the music ran out. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll go with I'll go with choice one. I'll oh, go. okay. Good, choice good. one is you smell bad. Yes. That's yep, that's good. what he wants like to go it. with. Final I answer. Like All right. I can't believe it. Is that correct? Oh! Yes! 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 Wow. Yes, yes, yes. I think we're going to have a situation with the uh, judges <laughs> next time and s- saying there's some shenanigans going on here. Todd, what does Michael win? Wow. Michael, you won a thank $240 you, you. gift card and a signed copy of my book, Become a Listing Legend. And I want to tell you, keep up the great work. Your enthusiasm's incredible. And reach out to us. We're here as a resource. Let's uh, let's yeah. send Michael. Oh, I appreciate it. Let's, oh, I really appreciate let's it. send Michael. I'm, I'm, oh, Michael, <laughs> Lisa just threw a shirt at you Jim. Out, you put out an eye here. One of his what? eyes is out. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's still fine. He can see out of one eye. I, one eye is good. We're going to also get you a podcast shirt. Take a listing Ooh. today. I, I don't I'll take it. I'll take it. Do you want Lisa to sign it for you? Do you want Lisa to sign it? I don't know my own strength. I almost knocked him out with throwing a shirt. (laughs) What are these shirts made out of? (laughs) Burlap. Oh, I man. will absolutely take it. I love you guys. All I right. listen to you all the time. All the time. You're yeah. awesome, Michael. Thank you for that. It means a lot to us. You might want to uh, join our fan club, actually. Yeah, we have three right Maybe now. Maybe you can start the fan club. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> outside of our family members. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, Michael. Oh, it's you, been a Michael. pleasure. Congratulations. And Lisa will get with you and she'll get you your prizes. Have a great oh, day, sir. Thank you, guys, so much. Thank you Michael. Right. Go, go, get that, go get that expired. You got it. Go get it. All right. How about that? There I we go. It. One winner. Wow, that guy took him a long time to become a winner, lost, but uh, his right. enthusiasm was great, wasn't yeah. it? I know. Yeah, he's all awesome. right. Awesome. Awesome. What a delight. He will probably wouldn't need this topic. Three things to do to make every day a great right. one. He's, or uh, he's already doing these three things. You can maybe. tell just by his voice. Just yeah, by I know. his Yeah. Well, Michael. hopefully many people don't need this topic because we only have five minutes left in our show now. <laughs> so let's get to it. And here we three go. Three things you can do to make every day a great one. You know they say some days are diamonds and some days just downright stink, don't they? They're olive. They yes, they are olive. <laughs> The good news is that now you can take the crappy days and make them better, more productive, happier, and even more tolerable. You don't need loads of cash or even a lot of time to change your day for the better. All you need is the desire and the will to put some simple strategies into action. Exactly. So write these three things down, digest them, and decide what works for you and what doesn't. But watch, we all have speed bumps in life, and how, how can we help you turn a bad day into a good day, or an yep. average day into an outstanding day? That's our objective here. Yeah, so well, let's... Well, and they're gonna sound simple, and they're gonna sound like stuff you've heard before, but right. listen, because we have science to back it, right? Yep. Oh, okay. yes. We have oh. science, and we have people with long names to back <laughs> yes, all this up. Do. So, number one, develop an attitude of gratitude. Now, before you say, I've heard that before, tell me something else. Let me stack the science for you. We have Barbara, whose name is on your screen now. You can see it in front of you. (laughs) She's a neuropsychologist and author of How My Brain Works. Her name is longer than the title of her book. So she suggests Mm. that you can prevent having a lousy day as soon as you wake up in the morning through practicing gratitude. 
Keep a journal next to the bed and every morning record several things, people, situations for which you are grateful. And I will say, um, I love what you just said because on the majority of meditations, and it talks about this, right? And I've been meditating for years and it talks about you cannot be depressed if you're in a state of gratitude. Yeah. So if someone's yeah. going through a bad time, if you start writing down all the things you're grateful and thankful for, it kind of re, yeah. re, rewires Absolutely. the mind a little bit. Yeah. Now, if you can't think of anything to be grateful for, how about the fact that you just woke up? That's pretty <laughs> decent, right? Yep. Any other conditions of your life that would make you better off? Write it down. Journaling once or twice a week for six weeks leads to happiness, and it just so happens that happiness leads to success. Now, Happy individuals are predisposed to seek out and undertake new goals in life, and this reinforces positive emotions. This is said by Sonia with a long last name. Lisa thought she was going to get me with all these names, but we're just going to put it on the screen in front of you right exactly. now. Sonia, who is a PhD, yep. said that. Nice try, Lisa. Yep. She goes <laughs> on to say, happy people foiled. are more likely to achieve favorable life circumstances. Well, and not only that, so think about think about Mike, who we just had on the phone. Happy people are more likely to have a better vibration. And people want to work with people that are happy in a good place. You don't want to work with someone who brings their drama to the table. So, so that happiness is going to help you get more business and help you prospect. So that little tiny ingredient right. is going to help you separate from everybody else. Well, and I think happiness is often thought of as a destination right. when it's a choice. It's, it's a, a way of feeling, a way of being. It's a choice nice. that you're making on what to focus on in life, mm -hmm. right? That's yep. what it's saying here. That's what the PhDs and doctors are telling us. That's right. All so right. number one, get your attitude straight, an attitude of gratitude. Simple. Number two. Set aside some me time before you start the day. It's important to take time for yourself in the morning, according to one of these people that we already talked about. If you enjoy exercising, this is the perfect time for it. So, so here's why this is so important right here. I would say 90 something percent of the world wakes up and they go right into their phone. They go right into emails. They go right into what challenges, what I have to do. Right. Um, where if you, if you take somebody like a Joe Rogan, you take some of the most mm -hmm. successful people, they will put all that aside and they're going to go plug them some, themselves in first. Kind of like right. if you have a toaster sitting here, it will not work unless it's plugged in. Right. So if a person can plug in, whether it's meditation, religion, whether it's whether it's exercise in the morning, whether it's learning something, so, so business, body, balance, being, and then when you go to take in over the world, you now have a relaxed sense of confidence. You're not going to start reacting crazy to everything. Mm -hmm. Right. So physical activity may help bump up the production of your brain's feel good neurotransmitters called endorphins. And this comes from the staff at mayoclinic.org. It doesn't take jogging or working out at the gym to achieve a rush of endorphins either. Any aerobic activity such as a nature hike can contribute to the same feeling. Or you can plan a morning walk before work, a midday walk or an after dinner walk. So lots of walking involved. Emotion is yes. created by motion. So if you're yeah. not in a good place, like Lisa said, whether you go out and get some sun, whether you just go to the pool for a half hour, mm -hmm. get some sun and listen to something great, emotion is created by motion. So here are five more things that exercise does for you that most people are not aware of. One, it reduces stress. It's actually been studied to lower cortisol and adrenaline while increasing dopamine and serotonin. You impressed with all those words I got I, correct you know, there? I am. Color me impressed. It combats depression, the dopamine and serotonin lift. Okay. Great mm -hmm. for cognitive function. Research shows improved memory and attention test scores after six months of working out. Wow. Okay. And so don't do it right before your test. You got to start six months <laughs> earlier. Exactly. And and if, if we if, if we really drill this down to like the most basic of basic, right? Everybody, everybody has heard when they're younger, eat well and exercise. Right. And if you don't do that, pretty soon when you get older, a doctor is going to tell you that because you're going to have some challenges. Right. Yeah. Very so true. You, you, you either have to get that dialed in early on because what's the point of being one dimensional? If you hit all your goals, become totally successful, boom, health, boom, you're gone. Down. Yeah. Or you're not good for your family. You're not good for it. Yeah. So don't be the one dimensional 
person in the business. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of health, this next one is real big. It reduces the risk of getting Alzheimer's by 45%. Yeah, that's stag- wow. that's a staggering number it really for is. an illness that, what do they say, 30% of elderly are getting God, now? It's brutal, yep, yep. yep. And better sleep. A study of people who exercise 20 mm. minutes a day reported feeling less sleepy during the day and sleeping better at night. You know what's great about that? I saw a little documentary about Muhammad Ali um, a few months ago, and they would use this one on him. So if they were going to the next city, they would want him to sleep well because mine was going. So he would get out of the car and they'd make him jog and they would talk to him and they would drive and they would just wear him out. So he would sleep incredible. Uh, wow. Pretty crazy. Hmm. All right. It's good to know. Yeah. So. Attitude of gratitude, me first. Number three, final way, make prioritizing a habit. Well, I like what you say about me first, because think about this on the airplane. What do they say? If there's a challenge, put on your mask first. Why? Mm-hmm. If you take care of you, you're, you're, you're better. You're able to take care of others. Yes. Yeah. If you go there first, then you're gone. So think about yep. that analogy. Mm-hmm. Take care of you as strong as you can in all those categories, then then you can take care of your family, your business, your community, yep. and hit all your goals that you want. Yep. Very true, very true. So prioritizing, most real estate agents have more tasks to accomplish than a day has hours. Stop attempting the impossible and prioritize accomplishing the three to five most important tasks that you need to get done each day. And Brian Tracy, in one of his books, he says, wake up in the morning, right? Morton's brought up a lot, eat the frog first. So that the biggest challenge that you have, don't hold it, right? Plug yourself into power and then say, Mm -hmm. boom, what? And guess what that will do to you? That that will increase your horsepower throughout the day. Yep. Because you went and tackled that. Yep. Very true, very true. So Caroline Webb, we got a normal name here. Mm-hmm. says setting the right kind of goals not only lifts our performance but also makes us feel good and caroline is the author of how to have a good day harness the power of behavioral science to transform your working life now what is a right kind of goal well it's something important that will impact your business or life you should have at least one of these goals on your list and at the end of the day achieve that goal or at least make a big dent in it it will bring you a sense of accomplishment, according to Leo Baba. <clears throat> How do we say that, Lisa? <clears throat> Zero, Leo Baba Baba. Baba, Baba. <laughs> Baba. At, at, um, at zenhabits.net. So I will say, so on the goal setting, on the goal setting, uh, so in my book, if you don't have it, and you can get it free um, online in the show notes. So I give a simple four-step process in here to hit any goal that you set, uh, whether it's a business goal, whether it's a physical goal, a financial goal. And it's just a simple analogy. So you think of any capital of any state, the dome, right? Mm -hmm. So D-O-M-E. So the analogy is dome. So the D means make a decision, decide. Mm -hmm. In its Latin root form, decision means decide. It means you draw a line in the sand and you make a decision. So if you're a smoker listening, you want to quit smoking, you draw a line in that sand. That will never happen to me again. Or if you're an agent who's going on unqualified appointments time and time again, that will never happen to you again. So the D means decide. Right, and you could use this for your for your listing presentation. Use this mm-hmm. for your physical activity. The O means to become outstanding. So, how am I going to become outstanding? Right, if it's a sport, I'm going to sign up for stuff. If it's my listing presentation, I'm going to go to my broker three times a week or the best agents and say, "Critique me, critique me, let's go." The M means create momentum. What does that mean? That means that means throughout time we're doing this. It's not a once or twice. We're going to schedule this. What gets scheduled gets done. The cowboy taught mm-hmm. us that. And the E means tell everyone. So you tell everybody your goal, they're going to support your goal. They're going to lift you up when you're having a bad day. So Dome technology will tie into that. That's in your book. Exactly. Nice. Wonderful. So here's the last thought on this topic. The number of goals you set is important as well. If you have a full schedule today, cut it in half. You don't need to do everything on that list. If you cut it down and you only do half the things you want, you'll actually have a much better day. And that's so important. And I know I've gone through some days before, and I don't do this often, probably once or twice a year, where I have a goal board, a dry erase board next to my desk. And there are sometimes you get going to so big of an overwhelm mode. So I've erased the whole thing before, Mm -hmm. every single thing on it. It's easy. It's funny because you breathe a little bit better. And then two days later, you never leave it blank because your mind doesn't operate like that. And then you go back to it and you're more you organized. Start over. You yeah. start over. So it's an interesting little, I love it. a little mind game to play. Great. Yeah. So with these three tips that we just gave you, you're going to have your best day ever tomorrow. 
Did we miss anything, Lisa? No, I love it. It's great. All right. It was pretty great, huh? Show number 99, folks. Show number 99 in the can. Don't forget, our show is brought to you by our friends at Prospects Plus. Visit their website, prospectsplus.com. You will love that site. Thank you for joining us next week. Show number 100. Ooh, what is going to happen? Where will we be? We'll find out soon. Tune in and see. It will be exciting. Take care. Bye-bye.